This conference will now be recorded. Troy Mar Robin, can you mute? Thank you. Diane. David, we're not sure. hearing you. I'll, I'll read it. Go ahead, Todd. The first, Sorry. The first line, Acts 2, 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and the prayers. How we came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. 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 The psalm for today is Psalm 23. We will read it responsively by whole verse. The Lord is my shepherd, shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes he me lie down in the green pastures. He leads me water. Waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He you spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. A reading from the first letter to Peter, uh, chapter 2, verses 19 to 25. It is a credit to you, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were going astray like sheep. But now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Our sequence hymn for this morning is number 209, We Walk by Faith and Not by Sight. We're going to do all the verses here, verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. So again, feel free to sing at home, mute your mic so it's red in that lower left-hand corner, and we'll go ahead and sing. We walk, are the opening two notes. We walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious word we hear from him who spoke 
as none has spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, but in his promise when we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God, help then, O Lord, on belief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found that when our life of faith is done in the realms of clear light we may behold you as you are with full and endless sight the holy gospel of our lord jesus christ according to john glory, glory to you lord, lord christ jesus said very truly i tell you anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and abandoned the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he has brought them out all brought out all his own he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice they will not follow a stranger but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers jesus used this figure of speech with them but they did not understand what he was saying to them so again jesus said to them very truly i tell you i am the gate for the sheep all who came before me are thieves and bandits but the sheep did not listen to them i am the gate whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy i came that they may have life and have it abundantly the gospel of the lord praise, praise, you. praise, praise you. you saint anna's was an old catholic parish in the middle of a large city it certainly had seen better days once its membership was huge and there were five six priests serving there all living in a large brownstone rectory cared for by a live-in housekeeper but times had changed and now there was only one priest to serve the dwindling and aging congregation kathleen the housekeeper had long ago gone gray gray but she held on keeping the old place as nice as she could one day kathleen came into the pastor's office and told the pastor father me refrigerator has died father donahue was a young priest and he had ideas about what a church should be so he said kathleen i know that old refrigerator has been giving trouble for years I'm sure we can afford to get it replaced. But Kathleen, I want you to understand, that's not your refrigerator, and it's not my refrigerator. That refrigerator belongs to the parish. It's our refrigerator. Kathleen said, very good, Father, and walked away muttering a little to herself. 
A couple of days later, a delivery truck drove up to the back door of the rectory in the middle of a torrential rainstorm, and two workmen wrestled the new refrigerator into the kitchen. Kathleen went to Father Donahue's office and told him, the new refrigerator is here, but you should see the mud all over me clean kitchen floor. Father Donahue said, I'm glad the refrigerator is here, but Kathleen, it's not your floor and it's not my floor. That floor belongs to the parish. It's our floor. Kathleen said, very good, Father. And she walked away, mumbling to herself. A few weeks later, the bishop came to visit the parish, and Father Donahue invited him to the rectory for coffee and cake. Kathleen brought it into the dining room on a nice tray with the good silver and napkins. Father Donahue said, Bishop, I believe you know Kathleen. The bishop said, Indeed, I do. Kathleen has been here since Moses was a child floating down the Nile. What's new, Kathleen? Kathleen answered, Bishop, you should have seen the big mouse our cat caught under our bed. The reading from Acts of the Apostles describes how the earliest followers of Jesus lived following the resurrection and the coming of the Holy Spirit. It says that they all held things in common, and people would even sell their goods and possessions so that other members in need could get what they required. That point is repeated in chapter 4 of Acts. This little band, the church, still went to the temple as their primary worship on the Sabbath, but on the first day of the week, they got together to listen to the teaching of the apostles, to pray together, and to break the bread as the living memorial of what Jesus himself had done at the Last Supper. It says that they were constantly growing in number. If we're trying to excuse ourselves from practicing the radical generosity they showed, we can say that these people expected the end of the world would come any day when Christ would return to make all things new. They were obviously wrong about that. But were they wrong about what God wanted of them? Does Jesus ask us, to give what we have for the sake of those who are in need only because we won't miss it, since any day now it's going to be destroyed anyway? Or does Jesus really mean that poverty and injustice is something his followers should be concerned about all the time? Does the king have to be policing us for us to live as though we are citizens of his kingdom? Another way to say it is, if Jesus promises us joy and abundant life, do we have to wait until we die to experience it? Theologians keep telling us that the church is not the same as the kingdom of God. They also tell us that Jesus called together people to become the church as the potential kingdom of God. When we share the fellowship and prayers together, we look, even if only for a moment, like the kingdom of God. The earliest followers of Jesus quite freely celebrated the Lord's Supper, along with their so-called love feasts, which were the ancient equivalent of a potluck. They recognized that Christ was with them whenever they got together. I think those early followers of Jesus would find what we are doing right now very peculiar. They would have no way to understand it. But right now, this is how we are maintaining ourselves as a community that hears God's word together prays together, 
and even eats together. So, becoming part of a caring, worshiping community, not just an individual who thinks holy thoughts, but being and living and working in community is how we begin to look like the kingdom that Jesus wanted us to have. Being at table with each other is a regular part of the week, showing generosity with our resources and our time for the sake of the kingdom of God. All these things are available to us right now. We don't have to wait until we are dead to experience God's kingdom and to nudge this world of ours in that direction. It's our church, and it will be what we make it. It's our church. Amen. Amen. Let's join together now as we pray the creed. We believe in one God, 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 the Father, the Almighty, the Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, all that is and 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 we believe in one Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, 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 and in the power of the Holy Spirit, the prayer of the Holy Spirit, and 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 the prayer of we look to the resurrection of the dead and the of the dead and the rise of the world. We look to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Shepherding God, we thank you for the educational ministries of your church. Enrich the work of teachers, professors, mentors, advisors, and faculty at colleges, seminaries, and learning sites, and their students. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creating God, we praise you for those who maintain and operate farm equipment, and for those who plant and harvest crops, for local farmers markets, and for those involved in agricultural agriculture of any kind. Strengthen their hands as they feed the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Fighting God, no one should be in want. Do the nations to return to your paths of righteousness and inspire our leaders to walk in your ways so that all may have the opportunity to live abundantly and sustainably. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear, our, hear our prayer. Comforting God, you carry us tenderly. We pray for those who walk through dark valleys, overshadowed by anxiety and overwhelmed with suffering, especially all those on the parish prayer list. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Nurturing God, you desire justice for the hungry. Bless advocacy work, food pantries, and feeding ministries in our congregations. May none of our neighbors lack for basic needs. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We especially pray today in remembrance and thanksgiving for the birthdays of Jenny Hunter, Tim Dowd, Phyllis Robinson, Ashley Astudio, and Lana Sar Chapone, and also the wedding anniversary of Ron and Kathy Herzog. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Everlasting God, your beloved have heard your voice. You have called them by name and guided them to your side in death, especially those taken by the coronavirus. We thank you for their lives of faithful witness. Lord, in your mercy. We hold confidence in your love, Almighty God. We place all for whom we pray in your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Peace, peace, peace. The peace. 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 <laughs> the Lord be with you. And, and also with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We celebrate your resurrection with joy amid the fears and sorrow of worldwide illness. Yet our faith gives us assurance and hope. Eternally, the angels praise your majesty and worship together with exultation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord. Uh, God, 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 Holy and gracious Father, in this time of fear and stress, we turn our hearts to you, looking for your help and consolation. The flowers of spring speak of the resurrection of the world, new life emerging from the dark earth. While we maintain our isolation, for our own safety and out of concern for one another. In this Easter season, we celebrate that the power of God is greater than death. We take heart as we remember your love for all creation, and we recall the many times when the people of St. David's gathered to be fed by your word and sacrament. We remember that many times in ages past, your people were fed through your loving care. We remember the food you provided your people as they journeyed through the wilderness toward the promised land. We remember how in another wilderness place, Jesus fed the multitudes who had come to listen to his preaching. And above all, we remember the evening when Jesus gathered with a small group of his friends to link his life to the ancient story of liberation celebrated by the Jewish people in the Passover. That night, Jesus took the simple food and drink before him and created for all time a means by which those who love him may be joined intimately with him and with each other. He created a sacrament for your church. But in this time of sickness, when our joyful celebrations are curtailed, we cannot gather as we would wish. So we turn to your words. Whenever you do this, whenever you eat and drink, do it in remembrance of me. We trust that you are present to your people once again. We have feasted on your word, and now we give thanks that in this time, your love reaches into our homes so that having this food before us reminds us of the abundance of your goodness 
through which we are sustained every day. With sorrow, we mourn the loss of receiving your blessed body and blood. With gratitude, we take what you have made available to us as a taste of the abundant grace of your kingdom. We thank you, Lord our God. We, we thank, thank you, Lord our God. And as one family, we now pray as our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, Forever and ever. Amen. Loving God, bless all those spiritually gathered here today as we remember the fellowship and friendship of our church. Place in our hearts the desire to make a difference to our families, to our community, to our country, and to the world. Give us peace in these times of distraction and uncertainty. Thank you for food in a world where many know only hunger, for our faith in a world where many know fear, for friends in a world where many know only loneliness. Please bless this food we are about to share. Bless those who prepared it and those who serve it and those who have worked to make today the special occasion that it is. For all of this, we give you thanks. We give you, we give you thanks, thanks. thanks O oh Lord. And now we've got some music that's going to be provided for us by our virtual choir. Yes, indeed. So, I'm not, Todd, are you able to share the video? Okay, very good. Uh, so, our choir has performed a, a piece this week uh, from Bach, and a, a director that I've worked with in the past actually put some special images and footage together to go along with our choir singing. So Todd's going to put that up on the screen. We'll put it up on the website, too, so you can see it better. But uh, if you could watch and enjoy. Um, and thank you again to everyone that um, participated in this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to encourage you to go to the website to play that directly. Um, it really sounds magnificent. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't uh, come through on um, go to meeting very well, but starting next week, we'll be able to get the full benefit of all of that lovely music. Yes, indeed. Thank you. You've been a part of, of the service today because uh, St. David's is, is your church, as I said in the sermon, uh, and you are part of that church, your sense of, of uh, ownership and your sense of participation. So I want to give special thanks right now to all of those who are continuing to support St. David's financially. Uh, a lot of folks have prepaid their pledges for this year, and that's been very helpful. And uh, some of you have uh, contributed to our special uh, challenge. So again, that, that's very useful. Uh, if you have not been able to do that, because normally what you do is just drop your envelope into the uh, collection plate, I'm going to ask you if you could possibly uh, mail in some uh, donation to help us during this time. Uh, and uh, that would be really wonderful uh, to maintain our church. And now let us pray together. Eternal God, Amen. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you have the people you have met in the world and called us by your presence to fill us apart. And grant us that our Lord love and serve you and the people you have set before us to fill us this part. Amen. Our Lord, amen. And now I've got a, a special birthday blessing for uh, Jenny Herbert, Tim Dote, uh, Phyllis Robinson, Ashley Estudio, uh, and Lana <laughs> uh, Charpone. Um, so this is this is a blessing for them. Heavenly Father, please bless all these for uh, today we celebrate their birthdays. Dear Lord, please protect and guide them as they continue along the path you've chosen for them. Give them the courage to follow in your light and feel your love wherever they go. Make them strong and give them the strength to make good decisions in the coming year. Keep them free from illness and sadness, for they are truly good people who deserve happiness and sex success in all aspects of life. Bless them now on this day and in the future. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now we celebrate also Ron and Kathy Herzog's wedding anniversary. So we have a blessing for them. Ron and Kathy, may God bless you and grant you joy. May he deepen your love for each other. May he bless you in your family and friends and lead you to unending happiness in heaven. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us all and keep us in his love forever and ever. Amen. Amen. That's a nice blessing. May Almighty God, who has redeemed us and made us his children through the resurrection of his Son, our Lord, bestow upon you the riches of his blessing. Amen. 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 May God, who through the water of baptism has raised us from sin into newness of life, make you holy and worthy to be united with Christ forever. Amen. 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 May God, who has brought us out of bondage to sin into true and lasting freedom in the Redeemer, bring you to your eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen.
May Almighty God be with you always and bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So our final hymn today is The Stripe is Over. We're going to sing the Alleluia Antiphon twice at the beginning and then once at the end. Just follow along. It's number 208 if you have your hymnal, and we're doing verses 1 through 5. If you could, again, put your microphone on mute uh, and follow along and sing at home. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. The victory of life is won. The song of triumph has begun. Alleluia! The powers of death have done their worst. But Christ their legions hath dispersed. Let shout of holy joy outburst. Alleluia! The three sad days are quickly sped. He rises glorious from the dead. All glory to our risen head. Alleluia. He closed the yawning gates of hell. The powers from heaven's high portals fell. Let hymns of praise his triumphs tell. Alleluia. Lord, by the stripes which wounded thee, from death's dark string thy servants free, that we may live and sing to thee. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 I want to encourage you to stay on for the children's service, which is going to start in about six minutes. Deacon Hank is doing a sharing on the gospel, which, of course, was not the scripture that I oh. used today. He's going to be talking about the Good Shepherd. And uh, if you want to stay on and be a part of the service with the kids, that would be wonderful. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we can uh, have a chat. If there's anything that you would like to ask, or if you want to just chat across and say hi to somebody else, this is a good time to do that. We've got about oh, six minutes. Uh, Father Don, there are not a lot more people on now than there were at the beginning of the call. If you just want to make an announcement just about the software change again briefly. Okay, yes. Beginning next Sunday, we are going to be using a different program. David's going to be very happy about that because he got blocked out by some glitches in GoToMeeting. Um, I think that uh, we will be doing better uh, using Zoom. So you're going to be able to come on by clicking on the link that you will find at the uh, St. David's website. It's going to look exactly the same, but uh, Todd has already done some of the work in the background, and uh, we're going to switch it over for next Sunday. From there forward, we'll be using Zoom. When you come on, you're going to go into what they call a waiting room. So don't be upset by that. We will get you through there. That's that's a protection to keep uh, intruders out. And uh, you will be admitted into the, the main program. It'll look very much like this one, but it's going to work a lot better, and especially for sound. The sound will be much, much better. 
Uh, you'll be able to uh, turn your microphone on and off pretty much the same way as you're doing it now. Uh, if you don't want to be seen, then uh, you can turn off your camera as well. But we want to see you, so uh, please, you know, have your have your camera on um, so that we can see one another. There you go, Steve. Yes, that's right. We want to be able to see each other and and wave at one another, don't we? That's yeah. part of why we're doing this to try to maintain a sense of our community, even though we can't come together at church. Um, the other thing that I will be doing as I get additional information is just kind of keeping you updated on what's going on in the diocese. I have a weekly meeting with the bishop, and if there's anything that uh, needs to be conveyed to you, I'll, I'll use some of this time to do that. Okay, uh, oh, and Ali uh, is going to be available to do some tutorial for anybody who needs that. Um, and oh, one more thing I want you to do, please do this. I've started doing it a little bit myself. Uh, if you have a copy of the parish directory, just pick a couple of people at random and give them a phone call just to say, how are you doing? All right, that's another way that we can stay together as community. So please, you know, do that. If you don't have a copy of the directory, uh, just uh, shoot an email to the office and we will send one to you. But we've got to stay together. We've got to be there for each other during this time. Uh, again, if there's anything that you need from me, my phone number is there. Uh, you can call me anytime. The only time I don't have my phone with me is when it's on the charger. Um, but other than that, I will pick it up. I'll be happy to hear from you even if it's just to, to ask me how I'm doing, which, yeah. by the way, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> you <laughs> we sing very well. All right, we need to take care of one another, and uh, that's how we can do it, to, to maintain our connections. Brian, thank you so much. That was lovely. The, the graphics were a nice addition. I'm just excited about the possibility of going to Zoom and really hearing the full richness of the music. Yes, thank you. And thank you to the choir members. And I, I agree. I'm looking forward to that very much. Great. Could I just well, um, make sure we have uh, our readers? Hi, hi, Arlene. <laughs> Is Ashley, I just want to confirm. Hi, Arliss. Do you want to unmute? Is Can you unmute, Arliss? I can't hear you. I, I can't, Arliss, unmute. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Is Ashley uh, available as well? Yes, yeah. Oh, cool. Great. Just want to make sure. Awesome. Okay, we're all set. Thank I you. see a wireless sign on my phone. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ashley. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, Ashley has to read on her birthday. Ashley has a birthday. Great. No, me. So, yeah. Readers today are Harrison and then Ashley and then Arlene. So. Right. This would also be a good time to thank the members of our children's yeah. ministry who are putting together the children's service and, and uh, also populating it. Uh, Catherine, especially, I think you've been doing a lot of work on this. And, and Brian is a big part of it with our music with the kids. So. See double double thanks for the Katona family. And Kim. Kim and Kim, Kim yeah. writes them. Kim, well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Kim yeah. So we're we're really carrying on. Um my best guess is that uh, we may be doing this until June at the very latest, or, or at the very earliest. Um so we're we're starting to get it to a, a place where we know what we're doing and we're doing it pretty well. And uh, this will be an opportunity for us to, to uh, meet during the week when we can't otherwise. The other thing that's coming up, and I, I'll put something out as soon as I, I can figure it, but I'd like to do some um, adult Christian education as I had been doing. We had our adult forum before and oh, look at the kitty. Uh, <laughs> we had the adult forum and we also had 
the other program that we were doing for Lent on Wednesday night, we got it started, but we never were able to finish that. Uh, when we go to Zoom, we will be able to use videos uh, over the internet. And so part of my intention is to, to see about scheduling a time when those who are interested can be available and we can take like an hour uh, to go ahead and, and do some of that uh, programming that uh, we got interrupted in. And then we've got some topics coming up. Peter has, has been showing an interest in this whole idea of atonement. What did, what did Jesus accomplish uh, on the cross? And, and that's going to be a topic that we're going to try to explore a little bit. Uh, other topics uh, can be brought forth if you've got interest. Let me know. Again, my phone number and my uh, email address are on the um, e uh, newsletter that you may have received. Well, it's time for us to begin our children's service. So let me be quiet and let the uh, children's ministry take over. Um, is okay. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see who we have out there. We're going to start with the song. Uh, I see some faces. Uh, the first song that we're going to do, which is, will be the same as the last song that we're going to do, is This Little Light of Mine. All right. So I'm going to say the words first, and then you can echo the words. Uh, so it's This Little Light of Mine, I'm going to Let It Shine. All right. So everyone say that. This Little Light of Mine, I'm going to Let It Shine. Now you have some things to do with your hands. So this little light for light, we're going to do this. And for shine, I'm going to let it shine, we're going to do this, all right? So let's just sing that bit and do our hands, all right? This is multitasking. So it's this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And that was very good, so we're going to do it again. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So good, we'll do it a third time. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now, when you have a light, something like this, like a candle, what happens for the kids out there when you do this to a light? Exactly. It goes out. That's what you all said. So it goes out. You can't see it. So the words are hide it under a bushel. We don't have a bushel handy, but I'll use my hand. Hide it under a bushel. No, no we're not going to do that. I'm going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine, hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let's do the whole song, ready, and this little this light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, this little this light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Good job, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear God, your son Jesus is the shepherd of your people, just like a shepherd is for his sheep. Help us more like Jesus every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. That is all I need. The Lord lets me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. He gives me strength. He helps me be a good person. 
and that is how I honor his name. Even if I walk through a dark out valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your shepherd's staff comforts me. You're, you prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of blood. <coughs> I am so happy for your blessings. I know that your goodness and your love will be with me all of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Um, Ashley? Yeah. Um, Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the field of sheep by the gate, but instead climbs in another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hears his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. The shepherd goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger. They will run from a stranger because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this story, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits and the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever believes in me will be saved and will come and go and find comfort. The thieves come only to steal and kill and destroy. I came to earth so that all people may live a good, happy life. The Gospel of the Lord. Grace to you. It is so wonderful to hear all your voices. Um, with this technology, I'm not always sure that I can hear it, but today I could hear Harrison really well and Ashley, and I can see Arlene very well, right there with her hair done nicely, maybe a reader in the future. Also, I've been seeing a lot of dogs and cats in the background, and they're all very fuzzy, but today's gospel, if you listen, and also in the Psalm, there's a lot of talk about sheep, lots of stories today. And, you know, dogs are nice and cats are nice, but sheep are really fuzzy. They're fluffy like clouds. They're also very peaceful. And for the communities 2,000 years ago, where a lot of people were farmers, they knew about sheep and what it was like to have and care for sheep. And like us, sheep live in communities. They're in herds together. And they don't like to hurt each other. They're relatively gentle, though I've never been in a fight with one. I don't think I would win. Jesus uses sheep as kind of a story to tell us how important he is in protecting us and leading us to God. As a shepherd, he will protect us from events, bad people, diseases and storms, or help us with our needs for food and also for jobs, and our school, to get back to school. Yes, Jesus' role as a shepherd is first to protect us and defend us, provide us with that food and warmth at night, but also, most importantly, to watch over us, especially when we're asleep. Can you imagine how the wolves might sneak up on a sheep long ago? or a herd of sheep, and the shepherd would protect them. And we, like sheep, need a shepherd. We need somebody who knows what's good and keeps us safe. And the bottom line of this story is, if we want God's love and life in its fullest forever, we only need to go with Jesus our shepherd, through the gate to be with God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Marlene, you want to start? Yes, please. After I say the prayer, come say amen. God, bless my family and friends. Bless those in my house and bless those far away. Amen. Amen. God, bless all the people who go to our church. Bless Brother Don, Deacon Hank, Brother John. Costume, costume, made, and us and Allie, husband, Sharon. Amen. Amen. God bless the earth, the green grass, the blue sky, the tall trees, and the flowers. Amen. Amen. God, if I ever feel scared, I will think of you and. I will feel your loving spirit around me like a big, beautiful hug. And then I won't be scared anymore. Amen. Amen. Hello. Dear God, thank you for each new day. I wake up with a smile on my face and your love in my heart. Amen. Amen. Well done. And now let us recite the Lord's Prayer together. Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Give us as we forgive those against us. God is a temptation. Deliver us from evil. The power and the glory. Glory is the kingdom of the Lord. Amen. You, God, forever child. Thank you, God, for each new day. Thank you, God, for loving us every night and every day. May the Holy Spirit protect you. God, even give you peace. Amen. And we'll finish with our song again, This Little Light of Mine. If you want to stand up and do the gestures, that's okay. If not, you can sit down. Uh, and I've got my handy dandy candle. Don't try this at home. But everyone, let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No. No. Hide it under a bushel. No. Hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. No. Hide it under a bushel. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. More time as fast as we can. Here we go. Two, ready, and this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Good job, everyone. We've all got a good job today. Well done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Yes, God, let us go in peace to love and serve you, the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. 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 Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.